Good morning, good morning, good morning, humans. I've been up since 5 a.m. Hello, humans. My name is Dale Kingsmill, and why have I been up since 5 a.m.? Because it is Eurovision Day, and this year Australia is actually competing, and we killed it. I mean, like, not as much as Sweden, but, I mean, we killed it a bit. But I thought since I've been up so early that today would be a great time for yet another breakfast story episode. Aha! Uh -huh, that's right. Mm -mm. So today's story is the story of a certain man named Cadmus. So lots of you may have heard of the famous story of Zeus's abduction of Europa. Cadmus was Europa's sister. The entirety of Europa's family got together and were like, hey, this isn't good. We don't like this, no. And so they set out in all different directions across Europe in order to try and find where Zeus had taken her. However, on the way, a few of them got a little bit distracted. Not a huge amount of time after they'd all set off in the first place, Cadmus's brother decided to stop and found a city up near the top of Africa somewhere. But I mean, that's fine, you know, there's one person down from the team. The team can still do this. Then Cadmus's mother died, which somehow led Cadmus's other brother to think that this was the time for him to stop and found a city also. And so Cadmus kind of went, you guys are really bad at this. You, you are getting so distracted. I am not so easily put off course. I am gonna go to the Oracle and find out exactly where my sister's at. Y'all should be ashamed. And so he does this, he goes and he visits the, the Oracle and the Oracle tells him, Cadmus, don't even worry about it. Forget your sister, what you need to do is found a city. Cadmus doesn't want to defy the gods and so he says, all right, I'll stop looking for Europa and I'll go and found a city, how do I do that? And the Oracle tells him, go and find a cow. All right, find a cow. That's step one. What kind of cow? I don't know, just, just kind of a cow, just a cow. Maybe aim for one that has like white markings on each of its flanks that look like full moons. So, circles, there. That's, that's what those are there. They're circles, they're spots. You're asking me to look for a cow with, with spots. Yeah, huh? And then, once you have found said cow, said bovine, you should follow that cow. That cow is gonna be your animal guide, right? You just keep following that cow until it collapses from exhaustion. So Cadmus follows the cow until it collapses from exhaustion. In that spot where the cow collapsed, that was going to be his new city. The city of Thebes. But you see, the thing is, founding a city ain't just, ain't just fine and dandy. Ain't just that simple. Before he could found Thebes, Cadmus would have to bless the site from a sacred spring of water. And so he wandered off quickly to the nearest sacred spring that he knew of, only to find that it was, uh, unfortunately guarded by a dragon who, who belonged to Ares. He was an Ares pet dragon. There was a fight, some dudes were killed. The dragon was slain. Cause Cadmus just like, Hit it with a really big rock. Hit it. Ares was not particularly impressed or pleased, let me tell you. Then there's this really weird thing that happens, right? Athena tells Cadmus that he should take some of the teeth from the dragon and sow them like seeds. And so far he hasn't wanted to defy the gods. And so Cadmus takes some of the dragon's teeth and sows them like seeds. Maybe some out of character war god solidarity or something? Because what happens next? Up from the planted dragon's teeth seeds in the ground sprang the big, fierce, scary looking armed men, the Spartoi. Canvas was terrified. These were angry looking men. They were scary, okay? He got frightened. And he threw a stone at them in fear. Ah! Thankfully, however, the Spartoi, as it turned out, weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. 
they thought that one of themselves had thrown the stone and began to fight with each other. And they bished and they bashed until all but five of them were dead. These five, I guess, stopped killing each other because Cadmus decided to name them the five noble family founder people, the, the first nobility in Thebes, the fancy people. They were the five fancy people from which all the noble families of Thebes would originate. You get me. And so that's the story of Cadmus and the founding of Thebes. Then came the year to eight years of servitude that Cadmus had to pay to Ares for killing his dragon pet. <laughs> so that's the story for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did like it, you should consider going down just below the video and hitting the, hitting the thumbs up button. It's right down, right down there. You can also share this video on social media such as Facebook or Twitter or any of your favorites. And if you would like, you can follow me on those websites. I have accounts there. And all of those links are in the description below. Also, if this is your first time, you can subscribe to my channel for more videos from me every single week. These storytelling videos happen every two weeks. And in between, I'm just, I'm a giant dork. I just, oh man, I'm such a dork. Like last week, I did a video that was me showing the internet how I reacted when I had no more internet because I need the internet. I need it. <laughs> Once again, I have enjoyed having breakfast with you. Just like last time, I'd, I'd love to know what you guys had for breakfast if you ate breakfast with me today. Leave me a comment below telling me. For now, I do believe that that is it. I'm done. Don't forget to email this to your grandmas and I will see you guys some other time. Tonight's so good, tonight's so good. This is one tough act to follow. Sorry, Belgium. Oh, baby, tonight's so good, and tomorrow we can do tonight again. Whoa. Bye.